So we're going to show you how to use a movement of the neck to treat neck, shoulder, shoulder blade, arm and or forearm pain. What we see at the physio joint is that the movement of the chin tuck is the most efficient use of force on the neck to achieve a reduction of these sorts of pains. So with retraction, you look straight forward, you don't look down, the head pulls back on the neck where you can see the head going past the back of the thorax. At the end of the movement, there's an overpressure. You're using both hands on the chin, you push with your fingers. Then you relax, then you pull right, uh, and use the overpressure, you pull right back, sorry, pull right back, and you use the overpressure to try and reverse the curve in the lower part of the neck where my collar is. You can see that movement there. We find that the first time people do these movements, there's often a pain associated with it, and the pain is usually in, it's in the lower neck, uh, shoulder, shoulder blade, or even the arm sometimes. Um, but with repeated attempts at doing this movement, the pain often centralises back towards the spine or sort of localises in a particular spot closer to the spine. And sometimes it takes many repetitions over and over, uh, up to... Um, 50 to 100 repetitions to really uh, get that effect occurring. It's okay to produce some pain at the end points of the movement, but the pain that's produced must never remain worse after you relax. So often with repeated movements, the symptoms change in a way that reduces pain and localizes the pain back to the spine. So this page here is from a book called Treat Your Own Neck which is written by Robin McKenzie. This shows the effect of centralization of pain from a more peripheral area in the arm to a more central area in the spine. Next week, we'll be looking at how to perform retraction in another position. Mm -hmm.